Look, a cave. An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Still here? What do you want me to carry? Lead on. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Divine's blood. Look at it. That's real Nord craftsmanship, that is. Let me show you an old trick I learned as a scout. Makes it harder for the enemy to notice you. It's best you leave. Weapons forgiven and armor forgotten. of Raven Scar Hollow. It's good we hold the reach. Were the rebels to gain control, the silver mines would give them coin to hire more thugs and expand their violence. Excellent work, soldier. I have to admit, I had my doubts it even existed. Did you run into any trouble? Yes. Well, I didn't respond as quickly to the Legate's suggestion as perhaps I should have. But at least we ended up with the damn crown. Now then, I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Balgruf of Whiterun. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only.
Everything all right? Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. You've returned. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh, oh no, this won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable, and the parts that are readable, well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. That means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? I find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to Winterhold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? No, that, that's pushing it too far. It's a very exciting, but highly unlikely. I can't possibly write that in. <laughs> and they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> it has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come.
It's a fine day with you around. Falk said I could count on you. You have more than earned the right to purchase property and take the next step to becoming a Thane. Speak to Falk when you have the funds, and thank you. Of course. There is room in my court for a new Thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. You help my people and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my Thane. Good luck to you. Be well. Pray for solitude. May the gods rest. watch over your battles, friend. The Yara has put out a bounty on some bandits. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wait, what? Ew. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. I do hope... I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises, an attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to winter hold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. 
I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon, these things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! However, we have little food or water to spare. General Tullius will never allow that. He's ordered all surplus food to be given. It's so good to take a look. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. We should have the festival soon. You're like me, huh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. and a bit of that. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Oh, what? Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Finally.
traveler, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Take a look. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Someday soon you will all see battle. What you do here today may well save your lives. Hmm? Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. The daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Let me know if you see anything you like. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't... You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Blessings be with you. Suppose you didn't shot my sword. That old blade can barely cut butter. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History, and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. I suppose I should return to my... 
Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? Um, Morrowind suffered a massive explosion. Bardenfell's Red Mountain erupts. Try to be precise, Yorn. Remember, being a bard isn't just about the music. Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. How are your students coming along? Bunch of distractions, if you ask me. They just interrupt the rest of my work. I'm sorry to... Good evening. I'm Pantia Edia, the master... Fortunate necessity of a college. Do try to... You're new here, right? Welcome to the Bard's College. It's like a... a musical museum. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing history, and the finer points of court life. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Just one bottle per customer, except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. You might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival, after all. Candy! Get your King Olaf's festival candy! Meat pie. Come on, light the fire. Try one for Where's the man yeah, festival meat. I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. Welcome, people of solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With okay. the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard. like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some <coughs> things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. Congratulations on getting the festival I believe you're saying the last week as a warm up.
Ugh. Intending to your hounds? Smell like a wet dog. I welcome you, friend. Take a look. How may this one serve you? May your road lead you to warm sands. Still here? What do you want me to carry? Let's get going then. Need a ride? I can take you to any... Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Rack Hunter Red who came riding to right run from old Rorick's dead. <clears throat> you see a dog out there. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. Please all stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Unless you're Moonfog, I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arkay? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Thank you. something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. shop and you'll regret it.
Okay, was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal, and in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aperius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I Ah, Barrett's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. I am. Mm -hmm. I came into Arke's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Koost and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Blessing of RK to you for your help. That. Journal means a lot to me, if you find it. A sad time. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? I just don't understand. What kind of man does that? Strangers like you bring war. to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow. Yes? Come to gawk at the monster. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. 
Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste that. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. I've been looking for a way to appease her scene. There is a certain beast in these lands, large, majestic. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Oh my, you would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell.
Well met, Hunter. I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls Hercene. Your fealty is precious to me. I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees.
the blood moon called you, fellow hunter. The prey is strong, stronger than the hunters. But more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hersin. You... why? Never thought I'd see you again. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Hersing is too powerful. But if you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. Thank the gods. Now let's deal with these other hunters. We hunt together. I'd see you again.
thought I'd see you. Thought I'd see you. Thank you for your help. I will make my home here, away from anywhere I might go. Thought I'd see you again. Well met again, Hunter. Not a failure, my servant. By bringing down my other hunters, you turn the chase inside out. And they were no base prey. You continue to amuse and impress. Go forth with my blessing. <laughs> 